group is a selection of your ACT contacts who have something in common, such as contacts who work together on a specific project or those who work in a similar field. If you regularly interact with contacts that share a common characteristic, then you may want to create a group for them to streamline your process. In this video, I want to show you how to create the simplest of groups, the static group. Creating groups is easy in ACT CRM. All you really have to do is go to the Groups area by clicking Groups in the left navigation, and then just click the New button on the right side of the screen. Now give your group a name. I'm going to title this group Christmas Newsletter because I like to send a personal newsletter out each December. If I wanted to, I could also add a quick description for what this group is all about. That's it. The group is created in your ACT database as soon as you click the Save button. You can see my group now appears in the tree view on the left. However, this group is pretty much useless until you add some contact records to it. You can add as many contacts to a group as you want, and there's no limit to the number of groups to which a contact can belong. You could even create a subgroup to this group if you needed to separate your contacts into lower tiers of group membership here. When you add contacts to a group, you'll either add them statically, meaning you manually select which contacts to add or remove from your group. Or you'll add them dynamically, which means you'll set up some rules for search criteria and then you'll let ACT CRM handle the memberships according to which contacts qualify by your predefined rules. The dynamic group feature is only available in the standard and expert tiers of ACT CRM. But for this video, we're going to just keep it simple. This group was meant to be a static group, so here's how to manually add contacts to it. I'm going to click the Add or Move button, and then there are two different ways to statically add members to a group. The first is here, from the context of the group itself. So in the top area, I'm going to click the Contacts button, and now I can use a search or just scroll through my list to find each contact who should be a part of this group. Select them, and click the right arrow button to add them to the group manually. If you hold down the Control button, you can select more than one contact. Once you've added all the contacts you want, click the OK button and you'll see their names appear in the Static Members area. Once you click OK, they will be manually added to this group. Now I said there are two ways to add contacts to a group statically. The second way to add them is from the context of an individual contact. So I'm going to go to my Contacts area and let's just say that I added some new contacts to my ACT database, but while I was entering data into all the fields, I decided to add them to my Christmas newsletter group as well. One of these contacts is Jeffrey Lebowski. Let's add him to my new Christmas group. To do this, I'll click the Groups Companies tab at the bottom, and then in the drop-down, I want to make sure it says Groups and Subgroups. The only thing I need to do now is Add Remove Contact from Group. This opens up a window showing me all the groups in my system, so I'll click Christmas Newsletter and move that to the right column. Now when I click OK, we'll see that Jeffrey has been added to the Christmas Newsletter group. If I go to my Groups area and I look at my Christmas Newsletter group, I can see that Jeffrey has been added to the group here as well. And they will remain a member of this group until I manually remove them. 